Welcome, everybody, to the last uh, stage of our commencement exercises today. Please take a seat. We apologize for the weather, um, but I think you'll appreciate being inside rather than out on a day like today. Uh, at least the last time I checked, the NOAA weather radar was uh, suggesting nothing but deluges of rain for the rest of the afternoon, so enjoy the dryness. Um, it certainly won't dampen our spirits, I know. And in order to move the program along, I'm going to call on Teresa Berger to give us an invocation. Let us pray. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, sovereign of the universe, who has created this day. Praised are you as we gather here in gratitude, joy, and pride in all that has been accomplished. We give thanks to you for the many ways, known and unknown, in which you have accompanied the journeys taken in this place and brought us all to this moment. We celebrate especially each one of our graduates and ask that you grant them your continuing presence and your inspiration as they prepare to leave this place. We are mindful in this, our time of celebration, of those who today are suffering rather than rejoicing, especially those among us who struggle with life-threatening illnesses. And we ask that wherever we go from here, you may whisper in us through us, against us if necessary, your invitation to fullness of life for this world. Until at last, all things are gathered into the deep joy of your reign. We dare thus to pray, trusting in your holy love, presence, and power. And let the people say, Amen. Amen. Dear friends and colleagues of the class of 2012, the prize that matters most this weekend is awarded to all of you this commencement Monday. As degrees were conferred upon you this morning by the university, and as diplomas will be presented to you this afternoon by this school. This is the highest honor that we can give and we congratulate and applaud all of you for your hard work, your perseverance, and your success. In addition, we take a few moments now to recognize some among you whom the faculty selected for particular achievements, goals, and contributions, recognizing that some of the students will be in the later ceremony, but we will call all names now. Sunday evening, following a commencement dinner, the Institute of Sacred Music presented named scholarships and prizes to 25 music and divinity students of the Institute. We invite those students to stand now where they are that we might offer our congratulations to them as well. <laughs> and Saturday afternoon, following a service of Evensong, the Berkeley Divinity School presented prizes and awards to six students in Berkeley. 
we invite those students to stand now where they are that we might offer our congratulations to them as well. The Bradford E. Abelson Prize for Ecclesiastical Leadership, presented to a student possessing outstanding qualities of judgment and character for the future exercise of ecclesiastical leadership, most notably in the Episcopal tradition, was awarded to Jesse Andrew Zink following the Berkeley Evensong service on Saturday. We invite Jesse to stand now where he is that we might offer our congratulations to him as well. For the following prizes and fellowships, we invite the named recipients to please come forward that we might present them with a certificate and a gift and offer our congratulations. The Oliver Ellsworth Daggett Scholarship Prize, presented to the senior student judged most worthy in their ability, diligence, Christian character, and promise of usefulness as a preacher, is awarded to Levon Elise Patty Briggs. Downs Prizes are awarded to those students who attain the highest proficiency in the public reading of scripture and hymns. This year there are eight recipients. Matthew Cortez, Leonard Curry, Alyssa DeWolf, Benjamin Groff, Pochang Blenda M, Joan Javier, Michael Madden, and Shane Marcus. The Mercic Prizes for Effective Public Address, especially in preaching, are presented this year to five students, Elizabeth Ann Bonney, Matthew David Cortez, Carlene Joan Demiani, Rebecca Megan Floyd, and Catherine Ruth Pease Stratton. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> the Jess H. and Hugo A. Norenberg Prize for Excellence in Preaching and the Conduct of Corporate Worship is presented to Kyle Eugene Brooks. <laughs> the Marvin H. Pope Prize in Biblical Hebrew is awarded on the basis of outstanding achievement in Biblical Hebrew. The recipient this year is James Natty. I don't think James is here. He's not a graduating student. <laughs> <laughs> the
The Abraham Johannes Malherbe Fellowship supports doctoral study in New Testament and early church history. It is awarded to a graduating student who has the most outstanding preparation in Greek and or Latin and has been admitted to, into a doctoral program in New Testament or early church history at Yale or another university. This year's recipient is Christine Miller. The Mary Cady Two Prizes are for exceptional ability in philosophy, literature, ethics, or history during the first year of study. These are book prizes given by the university secretary's office. This year, there are five recipients. Andrew DiCarlo, Emily Floyd, Dean Longfield, Daniel Myers, Catherine Novotny. The Walcott Calkins Prize for Excellence in Clear and Vigorous Public Speaking is presented to Su Young Kim. Brothers Fellowship is for pursuit of biblical study in Jerusalem when possible. This year there are 15, 16 recipients, Amanda Christine Abernathy, Christina Young Biak, Kathleen Kavita Chopra McGowan, Isaac Haruka McKeon Cowie, Vincent E. Stokes, Sung Su Hong, Matthew Thomas Hopper, Joshua David Kammerer, Mark Andrew Lester, Joshua Taylor McCormick, James Edward Natty, Azil Nunez, Jonathan Michael Potter, Miles W. Schoonover, Sarah Ann Staley, and Desiree Stoko Sweet. The Harriet Jackson Ely Prizes are awarded to second year Master of Divinity students for excellence and promise in theology. This year, there are two recipients, Stephanie Wong and Juliet Genfrio. <laughs> The John A. Wade Prize for Greatest Originality and Expository Preaching is presented this year to Janine Louise Scannoni. The Julia A. Archibald Pri High Prize Scholarship Prize, let me try that again. <laughs> the Julia A. Archibald High Scholarship Prize is for the member of the graduating class who ranks highest in scholarship. This year's recipient is Brett Emery Maiden.
And finally, the Henry Hallam Tweedy Prize for the graduating student who has exceptional promise for pastoral leadership. Given the unique mission of this school, this represents our highest prize and is presented this year to Jared Andrew Gilbert. Please join me once again in congratulating this year's prize and fellowship recipients. A reading from the letter to the Romans. Let love be genuine, hate what is evil, hold fast to what is good. Love one another with mutual affection. Outdo one another in showing honor. Do not lag in zeal, be ardent in spirit. Serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope, be patient in suffering, Persevere in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the saints. Extend hospitality to strangers. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice and weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty but associate with the lowly. Do not claim to be wiser than you are. Amen. Well, the program says that you have one more speech to endure before you get your diplomas. A final charge from the dean. Uh, by now, of course, you've already been charged, recharged, and supercharged. <laughs> If you were at the Berkeley Evensong on Sunday, you heard Dean Britton tell you to have a theocentric soul. And e echoing the words of Mother Teresa at his Harvard commencement, you should keep your eyes on Jesus. If you were at commencement worship last evening, you heard Carolyn Sharp tell you of the importance of catching a crab and being thrown out of the boat. Okay, I'm willing to take the point, but I think I want to keep my oars in sync. You also heard from faculty colleagues, Yolanda Smith, Diana Swancutt, and Jeremy Hulton who's charged you to be faithful, excellent, and audacious, to leap out of the boat whether you get the, get the, 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 the crab or not, <laughs> and to go forth uh, rejoicing and reflective. This morning, you finally heard Jeremy give you another important admonition to get ready for the scenic route on life's journey. Well, I would say that you are well and duly charged. What can I add to all of that? Contemplating what to tell you, I remember that I myself have inscribed myself into the class of 2012. Lisa Huck probably doesn't consider it official, but I gave to the class gift, so I think that makes me a member of this class. In any case, as you know, I'll be getting out of Dodge at the end of June. So I thought it might be worthwhile to think about what I should be charging myself as I leave this place. There are many scriptural texts that can serve as the basis for a good charge to graduating theologians. Romans 12, in particular, came to mind with its call not to realize the potential inherent in our academic work, but to live a life of simple and straightforward virtue, to be committed to love that is genuine, to hate what is evil and cling to what is good, to rejoice in hope to contribute to the needs of the poor, as, by the way, you have all handsomely done with your class gift. What, what can we add to these words of Paul? his admonition to rejoice with those who rejoice, to weep with those who weep. My only question was where to end the reading. But that, too, soon became obvious, and so we ended it with Paul's admonition not to be, claim to be wiser than you are. And so that's my last word to you today. You have, I sincerely hope, learned a great deal about scripture and ethics, history and theology, 
about ministry and the context in which it happens, about the ways of worship and the varieties of sacred song. You have learned lots and perhaps been transformed or reinforced in that process. And I fervently hope and indeed expect that you will go forth and do great things for the kingdom of God. But as you go, recognize, as I certainly do, that there is much more to learn about the life of faith and how it is to be lived. Don't claim to be wiser than you are, but remain open to new learning, new insight, further growth and transformation. What you have achieved here in your two, three, or more years is a good beginning, which of course is why we call it Commencement Weekend. My charge to you is to keep at it, and may the grace of God be with you on your ongoing journey. May he make the winds flow gently at your back. May the roads ever rise to meet you, and may the, that loving center of all that is hold you in the palm of his merciful and gentle hands. And those who might be inclined to do so said, Amen. Amen. Will the candidates for the degree of Master of Divinity please rise? <laughs> and come forward as instructed. <laughs> Dean Attridge, it is my pleasure to present to you the candidates for the degree of Master of Divinity to receive their diplomas. Sharon Marie Anderson. <laughs> Catherine Mary Arnold. Elizabeth Jane Butler Arulampalam. Krista Lee Baglin. Willie Nathaniel Barnes, Jr. Andrew Chrysal Barnett. Terry Lynn Bays and daughter. Elizabeth Ann Bonney. Levon Elise Patty Briggs. Kyle Eugene Brooks. <laughs> Hillary Brant Camblos. <laughs> Christopher Wesley Corbin, summa cum laude. Anthony Joseph D'Amelio III. Yeah. 
Carlene Joan Dimiani. Allison Donahue. Abigail Marie Furjack. Sandra Lee Fisher. Rebecca Megan Floyd. Kelly Forbush. Otis Gaddis the third. Jared Andrew Gilbert. Benjamin Andrew Groth. Aracelis Vesquez Hay. Ashley, Ashley Robin Hurst, summa cum laude. Joan Marie Javier. Joshua David Kammerer. <laughs> Emily Sumner Kempson. <laughs> Eleanor Proger Kilpatrick. Sue Young Kim. <laughs> Jennifer Marie Landis. <laughs> Yan Su Lee. Lisa Ann Levy. <laughs> Matthew James Lindeman. Ashley Michelle Mukar. Shane Michael Sanders Marcus. Natasha D. Moore. <laughs> K. 
Kelly Patricia Moody. Samuel Lewis Owen. Young Wan Park. Alexander Alden Peterson. Emily Abigail Phillips. Jacqueline Michelle Phillips. Russell Christopher Powell Jr. Summa Cum Laude. Joshua Allen Rodriguez. <laughs> Hannah Amaris Rowe. <laughs> Stephen. Stephen David Scarf. <laughs> Janine Louise Scononi, summa cum laude. Matthew Curtis Schneider. <laughs> Rebecca Atkinson Seeley. And now we have a demonstration of catching a crab. <laughs> Rachel Kristen Summer. <laughs> Alexandre da Silva Soto. Amy Lynn Spagna. <laughs> Anne Catherine Spear. <laughs> Vincent E. Stokes the second. <laughs> Benjamin Pierce Straley. (laughs) 
Katherine Ruth Pease Stratton. Sean Tapper Suarez, summa cum laude. M. Adriel Tong, summa cum laude. Thomas Rocco Walsh. <laughs> Caitlin Celeste Willis. <laughs> Sung Duk Yun Yun. Jesse Andrew Zink, magna cum laude. <laughs> Graduates, you may now be seated and celebrate again. Remaining standing, let us conclude with prayer. There's an old dismissal hymn that's often used to conclude an academic year, and it reads like this. Lord, dismiss us with thy blessing. Fill our hearts with joy and peace. Let us each thy love possessing triumph in redeeming grace. Thanks we give and adoration for thy gospel's joyful sound. May the fruits of thy salvation in our hearts and lives abound. So that when thy love shall call us, Savior, from the world away, fear of death shall not appall us, glad thy summons to obey. And may the blessing of the one and holy undivided Trinity be upon us, with us, and among us now and always. Amen. Amen. After we process out, you're all invited to lunch, which is in the old refectory. Reception, uh, whatever, in the old refectory. <laughs> Heavy grazing, down that way.
Welcome everyone to the uh, final phase of the uh, commencement exercises for the weekend. And uh, I hope you'll all enjoy being dry during this part of the, uh, the ceremony. And uh, after, uh, after it's all over, there is a reception in the old uh, refectory, which is at the far end of the quad here. So do join us for that. And uh, to get us underway, I'd like to call on Teresa Berger for an invocation. Teresa. Let us pray. Blessed are you, Lord our God, sovereign of the universe. You have created this day. Praised are you as we gather here in gratitude and joy and pride in all that has been accomplished. We give thanks to you for the many ways, known and unknown, in which you have accompanied the journeys taken in this place and brought us all to this moment. We celebrate especially each one of our graduates and ask that you grant them your continuing presence and inspiration. We are mindful in this time of celebration of those who today are suffering, especially those among us who struggle with life-threatening illnesses. And we ask that wherever we go from here, you may whisper in us, through us, against us if necessary, your invitation to fullness of life for this world. Until at last, all things are gathered into the deep joy of your reign. We dare to pray this, trusting in your holy love, presence, and power. And let the people say, Amen. Ready? <laughs> Dear friends and colleagues of the class of 2012, the prize that matters most this weekend is awarded to all of you this commencement Monday as degrees were conferred upon you this morning by the university and as diplomas will be presented to you this afternoon by this school. This is the highest honor we can give and we congratulate and applaud all of you for your hard work, your perseverance, and your success. In addition, we take a few moments now to recognize some among you whom the faculty selected for particular achievements, goals, and contributions. Some of these uh, were presented in the previous ceremony to MDIS. We will call all of the prizes. Sunday evening, following a commencement dinner, the Institute of Sacred Music presented named scholarships and prizes to 25 music and divinity students of the Institute. We invite those students to stand now where they are that we might offer our congratulations to them as well. Saturday afternoon, following a service of Evensong, the Berkeley Divinity School presented prizes and awards to six students in Berkeley. We invite those students to stand where they are that we might offer our congratulations as well. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, the Bradford E. Abelson Prize for Ecclesiastical Leadership presented to a student possessing outstanding qualities of judgment and character for the future exercise of ecclesiastical leadership, most notably in the Episcopal tradition, was awarded to Jesse Andrew Zink following the Berkeley Evensong on Saturday. We congratulate Jesse as well. For the following prizes and fellowships, we invite the named recipients to please come forward that we might present them with a certificate and a gift and offer our congratulations. The Oliver Ellsworth Daggett Scholarship Prize presented to the senior student judged most worthy in their ability, diligence, Christian character, and promise of usefulness as a preacher is awarded to LaVon Elise Patty Briggs. The Downs Prizes are awarded to those students who attain the highest proficiency in the public reading of scripture and hymns. This year, there are eight recipients. Matthew Cortez, Leonard Curry, Alyssa DeWolf, Benjamin Groth, Boyang Blinda M, Joan Javier, Michael Madden, Shane Marcus. The Mercic Prizes for effective public address, especially in preaching, are presented this year to five students, Elizabeth Ann Bonney, Matthew David Cortese, Carlene Joan Demiani, Rebecca Megan Floyd, and Catherine Ruth Pease Stratton. The Jess H. and Hugo A. Norenberg Prize for Excellence in Preaching and the Conduct of Corporate Worship is presented to Kyle Eugene Brooks. The Marvin H. Pope Prize in Biblical Hebrew is awarded on the basis of outstanding achievement in Biblical Hebrew. This year's recipient is James Natty. The Abraham Johannes Malherby Fellowship supports doctoral study in New Testament and early church history. It is awarded to a graduating student who has the most outstanding preparation in Greek and or Latin and has been admitted to a doctoral program in New Testament or early church history at Yale or another university. This year's recipient is Christine Miller. The Mary Katie Two Prizes are for exceptional ability in philosophy, literature, ethics, or history during the first year of study. These are book prizes given by the secretary's office. This year, there are five recipients. Andrew DiCarlo, Emily Floyd, Dean Longfield, Daniel Myers, and Catherine Novotny. Oh, Daniel, hi. Sorry. <laughs> Are you skipping walk up conference? Uh, oh, I'll call Sorry. Yeah. 
the Walcott Calkins Prize for Excellence in Clear and Vigorous Public Speaking is presented to Sue Young Kim. The Two Brothers Fellowship is for pursuit of biblical study in Jerusalem when possible. This year there are 16 recipients. Amanda Christine Abernathy, Christina Young Biak, Kathleen Kavita Chopra McGowan, Isaac Haruka McKeon Cowie, Vincent E. Stokes, Sung Su Hong, Matthew Thomas Harper, Joshua David Kammerer, Mark Andrew Lester, Joshua Taylor McCormick. James Edward Natty, Azil Nunez, Jonathan Michael Potter, Miles W. Schoonover, Sarah Ann Staley, and Desiree Stoko Sweet. Okay. We gotta find Josh McCormick. There we go. All right. <laughs> The Harriet Jackson Ely Prizes were awarded to two second year Master of Divinity students for excellence and promise in theology. They were Stephanie Wong and Juliet Genfrio. The John A. Wade Prize for Greatest Originality and Expository Preaching is presented to Janine Louise Scanoni. The Julia A. Archibald High Scholarship Prize is for the member of the graduating class who ranks highest in scholarship. This year's recipient is Brett Emery Maiden. <laughs> And the Henry Hallam Tweedy Prize for the graduating student who has exceptional promise for pastoral leadership and given the unique mission of this school represents our highest prize is presented this year to Jared Andrew Gilbert. Please join me once again in congratulating this year's prize and fellowship recipients. A reading from the letter to the Romans. Let love be genuine. Hate what is evil. Hold fast to what is good. Love one another with mutual affection. Outdo one another in showing honor. Do not lag in zeal. Be ardent in spirit. Serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in suffering. Persevere in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the saints. Extend hospitality to strangers. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty but associate with the lowly. Do not claim to be wiser than you are. Amen. As the program indicates, you have to endure one more speech before you get your diploma, the final charge from the dean. 
but you've already been charged and recharged and supercharged. <laughs> if you were at Berkeley Evensong on Saturday, you heard Dean Britton tell you to have a theocentric soul and echoing the words of Mother Teresa at his Harvard commencement, to keep your eyes on Jesus. If you were at commencement worship last evening, you heard Carolyn Sharp tell you the importance of catching a crab and being thrown from the boat. Okay, I'm willing to take the point, but I think I want to keep my oars in sync. You've also heard from faculty colleagues, Yolanda Smith, Diana Swancutt, and Jeremy Hulton, who charged you to be faithful, excellent, and audacious, to leap out of the boat, whether you caught the crab or not, to go forth rejoicing and reflective. This morning, you finally heard Jeremy give another important admonition, to get ready for the scenic route on life's journey. Well, I guess you have been truly and duly charged. What more can I add? Thinking about what to tell you, I remember that I myself am a member of the class of 2012. Lisa Huck probably doesn't uh, consider this official, but I gave to the class gift, and so I think that makes me a member. In any case, as you know, I'll be getting out of Dodge at the end of June. <laughs> so I thought it might be worthwhile to think about what I should be charging myself as I leave this place. There are many scriptural texts that could serve as a basis for a good charge to graduating theologians. Romans 12, in particular, came to mind with its call not to realize the potential inherent in our academic success, but to live a life of simple and straightforward virtue, to be committed to love that is genuine, to hate what is evil and cling to what is good, to rejoice in hope, contribute to the needs of the saints, as, by the way, you all have done with your class gift. What, what can we add to these words of Paul, his admonition to rejoice with those who rejoice, to weep with those who weep? My only question was where to end the reading, but that too became obvious, and so we ended it with Paul's admonition not to claim to be wiser than we are. And so that's my last word to you today. You have, I sincerely hope, learned a great deal about scripture and ethics, history and theology, about ministry and the context in which that happens, about the ways of worship and the varieties of sacred song. You've learned lots and perhaps have been transformed or reinforced in the process. And I fervently hope and indeed expect you will go forth and do great things for the kingdom of God. But as you go, recognize, as I certainly do, that there is much more to learn about the life of faith and how it is to be lived. Don't claim to be wiser than you are but remain open to new learning, new insight, further growth and transformation. What you have achieved here in two, three or more years is a good beginning, which of course is why we call it commencement. My charge to you is to keep at it, and may the grace of God be with you on your ongoing journey. May he make the winds blow gently at your back. May the roads ever rise to meet you, and may that loving center of all that is hold you in the palm of his ever merciful and gentle hands. And those who might be so inclined will say, Amen. Amen. Will the candidates for the degree of Master of Arts in Religion please rise? <laughs> and come forward as directed. Dean Attridge, it is my pleasure to present to you the candidates for the degree of Master of Arts in Religion to receive their diplomas. Elise Marie Addington. David Allen Barr, summa cum laude.
Stephen Dexter Blackmer. Rebecca Marie Bloom, magna cum laude. Anne Christine Bloomdahl, summa cum laude. Latoya Lynn Brown. Russell Stephen Burke. Jennifer Lynn Shivola. Juan Cho. Karen Elizabeth Connor, summa cum laude. Matthew David Cortez. Jessica Brittany Crawford. Amanda Louise Culp. Matthew R. Davies. Anna Huberdina Hilda DeBacher. Andrew Stephen DiCarlo, summa cum laude. Fabiana Ferreira, Julio De Paula. And children. Elizabeth F. L. Dolphy, magna cum laude. Hannah Ruth Earl. <laughs> Naomi Paula Geyer. <laughs> Jason Craig Harris, summa cum laude. Olivia Ruth Werberig Hilmer. <laughs> Stephen Earl Hobbs, Jr. <laughs> Carl Howard. Bojang Blinda M. <laughs> L 
Lillian Ralph Jackman. Elizabeth Ellen Johnson. Haley Elizabeth Johnson. Max Isaac Thomas Kronberg. Jennifer Kiku Langford. Joseph Michael Lear, Jr. Patrick Pai Yu. Elena M. Lloyd Seidel. Samuel Joseph Lankar, summa cum laude. John Franklin Mackey. Michael David Madden, summa cum laude. Brett Emery Maiden, summa cum laude. Richard James Mamana, Jr. and daughter. Leanne Michelle Marquise, magna cum laude. Elena Kathleen Massey. Joshua Taylor McCormick, summa cum laude. Christine Rebecca Miller, summa cum laude. Sabrina B. Moran. Alan Christopher Murphy, cum laude. Parmis Nashiri Shijani. Dwayne David Paul. Anthony Andrew Phillips. Ruth P. 
Pickens. Jonathan Michael Potter and daughter. Christiana Therese Purdy. Oh, Lord. Anna Camila Mangaliman Quijano. Derek, Derek. Wayne Sanders, cum laude. <laughs> Miriam Mohammed Shihata. <laughs> Adam Charles Sims. Lauren Elizabeth Sparks. <laughs> Jessica Sa. Desiree Stoko Sweet, summa cum laude. Jeremy Brett Talmadge. Miles Philip Thompson. Merle Marie Troger. Graham Michael Valenta, cum laude. Mary Mitchell Vaya. Andrew Michael Weber, magna cum laude. Pong Yin. <laughs> MAR students no longer and graduates now, please celebrate your degrees. You may be seated. Will the candidates for the degree of Master of Sacred Theology please rise and come forward as directed. Dean Attridge, it is my pleasure to present to you the candidates for the degree of Master of Sacred Theology to receive their diplomas. Terry James Archambault, Jr. <laughs> 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 
Laura Catherine Carlson. Laura Sarah Elizabeth Donnelly. Walter Luke Grote. <laughs> Stephanie McDyer Johnson. <laughs> James Ambrose Lee the second. Caleb Jeffrey Lines. Allison Waddell Lutz. Shante A. Paris. And the last of this year's graduating class, Marissa S. Rohrbach. Will you please stand and pray with me? <laughs> There's an old hymn that's used for dismissal at the end of an academic year, and I share those words with you now as a concluding benediction. Lord, dismiss us with thy blessing. Fill our hearts with joy and peace. Let us each thy love possessing triumph in redeeming grace. Thanks we give and adoration for thy gospel's joyful sound. May the fruits of thy salvation in our hearts and lives abound. So that when thy love shall call us, Savior from the world away, Fear of death shall not appall us, glad thy summons to obey. And may the grace and blessing of the Holy Trinity, one God undivided, be with us and for us and guide us now and always. Amen. <laughs>